What's up? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. If you're new to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff, man. If you uh, also, uh, if you want to support the channel, you can become a monthly member. I have a lot of paid monthly members on the channel. You, you get a lot of benefits and access and you get special shout outs and wrenches and all kind of good stuff going on if you become a monthly member. Now, your boy Dr. Dre has been rushed to the hospital and he's still hospitalized right now with a brain aneurysm doctor said they don't know what caused the bleeding okay he had to be rushed into intensive care union unit they claim that he's stable right now but as we all know dr dre is in the middle of a divorce one of his uh baby my mother's ch uh child one of his daughters from one of his baby mothers came out and claimed she haven't seen him in years and it's just a lot of stuff i believe it's a lot of stress and strain that Dr. Dre is under. Now, if you pay attention and, and, and understand how black men suffer from anxiety, okay, we suffer from anxiety and high blood pressure more than anybody. And I want y'all to look that up and research this. Black men have a, suffer from anxiety and high blood pressure, okay? That comes from a lot of stress, all right? A lot of stress. And a lot of times, we as black men, we try to you know, we don't want nobody to see how angry or upset we are or how stressed we are or what we're going through because we're always taught we have to be strong for everybody else, okay? And to top it off, nobody gives a shit about what black men go through. Nobody cares that black men suffer from anxiety and stress. Nobody really gives a crap, okay? Really don't. And you got this broke, uh, gold-digging chick that, that, that he married, who came into the marriage with absolutely nothing. Now she wants $2 million a month. He was already big-time and famous and, and one of the biggest producers on the planet in hip-hop at that time. He'll probably be one of the biggest producers in the game, and he's already going to go down as a legend. She brought absolutely nothing to the table, and now he becomes a billionaire after he you know signed that deal with, uh, with Beats uh, Headphones. Um, now she wants to take his money and go run off into the sunset with one of her little, you know, her little boy toys. Okay. And, you know, it's crazy. Uh, he signed a prenup where it just say she only gets a certain amount, but she claimed that he, he tore the, 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 uh, he tore the prenup up. This is what she say. He claims that's a lie. Okay. Where so now she's being greedy. She wants $2 million a month. For the rest of her life. <laughs> oh, man, these women out here are just evil and greedy and wicked, boy. I mean, it's better to stay single. Because when you get married, it never benefits the man. It never benefits, especially if you're a successful man, it does not benefit you. Unless she comes into the marriage with her own money. If she has her own money, like say if Beyonce and Jay-Z break up. Beyonce got her own money. You see what I'm saying? Even though Jay-Z got a little more than she do. She don't need Jay-Z's money, okay? So a lot of these other couples, you know, that that, that you get you, is, is lopsided where you're the one taking care of, of the partner. These females are going to try to get you for everything you got. Like I say, every time if a marriage is going to go wrong, these women are already thinking in their head. What am I going to get out of this if this marriage goes wrong? They're already thinking that as soon as they go into it, Okay. So this is all the stress that's built up. And his, his daughter coming out saying all this stuff about him. This man is up under extreme stress. This is where the aneurysms come in. And I was studying about aneurysms and uh, blood pressure and all that stuff. And, you know, aneurysms is when something starts bleeding and leaking. And it's, well, you know, the main artery that carries uh, blood to the heart, to the brain. Okay, and a lot of this blood buildup from high blood pressure and anxiety can cause these blood clots. You got to understand our moods, uh, um, certain things that we, 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 how can I say, put it emotionally. A lot of things we suffer mentally and emotionally can affect us physically. Okay, so stress causes high blood pressure, causes all this other stuff. And when the blood is rushing and you get these clots and this and that. It can cause you to have uh, uh, strokes and massive bleeding. It can mess with your circulatory system and all that other stuff, man. This is what stress can really do and hurt and, and damage your, you know, physically. So 
You know, it's good to stay prayed up. It's good to do stuff to keep you less stressed, especially us as black men. We have a lot on us. We're one of the, we're the biggest target in America. We get targeted by racist society. We get targeted by jealous, envious other black men. And we get targeted by our own women who put us on child support, who want alimony, who throw us in jail, who do all kind of stuff to us. So this is where all the stress is coming from. This man is stressed out. I'm your boy Zillion. I don't blame him for being stressed out. I understand you stressed out, you know, and then there you have it. And now he's in the hospital. I hope he continues to do better. They say he's in stable condition. I'm out of here. Put your thoughts in the comments about Dr. Dre having an aneurysm. And um, that stuff is serious, man. You can die from an, you can die from an aneurysm, man, if it's, if it's you know, if it's not uh, taken care of. Um, soon, or, or that's why they had he had to be rushed to the hospital because you can die from these blood clots and all this other stuff going on in your body, man. I'm out of here.